Hey everyone, in today's iPhone video, I wanna show you the top five features inside of iOS 14 on your iPhone. And I'll show you my personal favorite at the end of this video. The first one is these widgets, the one you see over here that has multiple different screens. And to add these, all you have to do is on the home page, just press and hold, and then you'll get this plus sign right on top of your page. Depending on your screen, it may be on the left or the right side. Press that and it brings you to this whole world of widgets. And there's a variety of different sizes here that you could choose from. So for example, if I wanted to add this stock one, I could just tap it and I could see the different sizes that I could get. So there's a variety of different sizes. I'll choose this one and I'll press add widget here and it's going to be added to my home screen but I could grab it and put it somewhere else on the home screen or even move it to a different page if I wanted to move it to a different page. And when I'm done, I could just press done and it's gonna settle right there on my page. Let me do it one more time. I'll press and hold, press plus. If you scroll all the way down here, there's also something called a smart stack. Let me choose that to show you what that looks like. And that basically lets you have multiple different widgets in one stack. So let me just choose one of these here. I'll choose the small one and I'll press add widget and I'll press done. And as you can see, this one, you could scroll through and see a variety of different applications in one. You could press and hold on that one and edit the stack and actually remove some of the things that you don't want on there. So if I wanna remove news, I could just slide over and delete that, delete maps, and I could make one to be the primary one by pressing the three lines here and just moving it to the top. And just like that, if I press X, the first one will be the clock. And now this is what my homepage looks like. The second update is called an app library. So if you're like me and you have a lot of different apps on your phone and taking up a lot of pages, what you could do is you could go all the way to the last page and scroll over one more time and you'll come across this page called app library where you could basically see all your apps categorized in different folders. So social, for example, you can see all my social apps are all in one place. I make a lot of how-to videos, so I happen to have a lot of apps more than usual people, but it's nice and organized this way. And I could just click on top, search for an app and open it that way. Very, very useful option right here, instead of going through a ton of different pages. Also what you could do, let me come to the bottom here on this empty area, I'm gonna press and hold. And now you could see I could remove any app I want from any of these folders just by pressing X on it. But if I double tap on this empty area, I'm gonna double tap on it. I'm gonna get this page where it shows all the pages on my phone and I could actually press the check mark under them to hide those pages so I don't have ton of pages to go through. So now if I press done, it's reduced some of the pages on the bottom. I still have quite a few, so I still would have to do that with some pages. And another option that's useful if you have a lot of pages, you could press and hold on this bar here and go left and right much faster than just sliding through each page. So if you wanna to get to the last page, you could just slide your finger through these dots and get there that way and come to the app library. Update number three takes place in your messages. So let me go to the messages here. And now inside of your messages, you could pin your favorite people right on top like I've done here. So let me show you how to do that. All you have to do is from one of your group chats or conversations on the bottom, press and hold on it. And as you can see here, it says pin. So you could choose that option right here and it will pin that conversation right to the top. So now anytime you wanna jump into that conversation, instead of scrolling through all your previous texts, you could just go ahead and press it there and jump into the conversation. Anytime you wanna change that, you could press the three dots on top. You could edit your pins here. So now you get an option to pin any of the other conversations you have here by pressing the yellow pin option or pressing minus if you wanna remove any of them from the top. And that's pinning conversation to top of messages on iOS 14. The next update is an entire new app that comes with every iOS 14 device and that's the Translate app. And the Translate app lets you basically create translations from any two languages that the iOS 14 supports. And with the Translate app, I just could go from English to whatever I want my translations to be. And these are all the options that I have right now. So right now I'm going from English to Spanish. So if I type out text and press go, just like that, it's gonna translate it from English to Spanish for me. And I could even press the microphone if I wanna just dictate what I'm saying and let it transcribe for me automatically using this option. And finally, let me show you picture in picture. 
You could do this with Apple TV or Netflix or really any number of apps. You could also do this on YouTube.com. You can't do this with YouTube videos with the YouTube app. And here on Safari, I just went to YouTube.com, found the video I want. I'm going to press play on it and I'll press that square so it goes full screen on my page right here. And now if I tap on the screen, there's a new option, the little arrow there with a picture and picture icon. If I press that, it puts my video picture in picture with whatever else I'm doing on my phone. So now if I slide up, that video didn't go away. It's right there. I'm actually moving it around with one finger. I could put it wherever I want on my page here and go about my business on my phone. And you could also minimize it to the left or right. If you slide it over, you could see that arrow now puts it on the left or right side of your screen. If you go that way, you go on the left side. And what's great about that it's still playing. I just have it on mute right now, but it's still playing. So this is really useful if you're watching a YouTube tutorial and you want to try it and follow along. Or if you're watching a movie here using the Apple TV app, for example, you could just let it play in the background and go about whatever you're doing on your phone. And those are the five different things you could do on iOS 14 right now. Thanks so much for watching. Please give this a thumbs up and share it if you found it useful. And I hope to catch you on the next video.